All right. Um, I think this is all I wanted to talk about with respect to this particular project. Um, if you have any questions, obviously, feel free to ask. Uh, we can always come back to this discussion. Um, I would like to mm, so make sure that you try to you know, do your own uh, version of, the, of this uh, homework assignment. Make sure you write your own code and make sure that uh, you can uh, play with all of this. Uh, I was, as you can see, I was tapping everything in, so you you can uh, basically do the same thing. This is this is all. These are all the files that I have. Main, I'm sorry, node, CPP, stack, CPP, main, CPP, and two header files. Right, and so then um, uh, everything seems to be in in okay shape right now at this point, and the. Uh, the project uh, basically is constructed out of these three source files. It's sort of interesting to have a stack class which basically is a composition, right? It's a composition of the stack and what it has and what it does with the node. Basically wraps itself around the node. As soon as we create the stack, this root node is also created right away. and. Uh, uh, and the node constructor is invoked and, and all that happens. So um, uh, this is, uh, uh, this is uh, the final uh, version of the stack that we're going to uh, work with this semester. OK, um, so that's this current homework assignment. Um, but there's one more thing that I'd like to go over today, time permitting is to talk about yet another uh, project. Again, this is just the next one, because some people already submitted the homework, some people haven't. So I, I'd like to post another one and discuss the next project. But first, go to the presentation that talks about uh, standard library strings. So in the outline, <coughs> somewhere here, we have a presentation that um, uh, covers a standard string. OK, so perhaps what I can do with this is just like file, like close the solution, get out of this, and start a new project. I'll name it strings, strings demo, I guess, something like that. OK, we'll start from scratch, create another main. <coughs> Include the string header because we're start we're starting to cover the standard string, and here's our main. Okay, so we're ready to try things out if we have to. Um, so uh, this header file string defines something that is named basic string. Uh, basic string is a class inside the standard library namespace, std. That's why we kind of display a prefix std in front of the name basic string. Is a template uh, uh, C++ class which includes template parameter of the character type. So this particular uh, basic string component of the library is uh, defined as a template class. So to be able to use that template class, you need to specify what type of character you want to use with that uh, particular type. 
obviously, uh, you know, there are one, uh, like, single byte characters, like ANSI character <coughs> characters or, or ASCII characters. And there are also Unicode characters. There are other types of encoding. And so there could be characters that take more than one byte in memory. So for this, the basic string inside the C++ standard library is a template class that takes a template parameter. However, it's also uh, this, this header file also contains the so-called type def statement that says, well, let's do this. You don't have to type this all the time. Instead, we're going to type def, rename this data type, basic string of characters, simply as string. Therefore, instead, so then let's, let me just show you that if I simplify everything to say using name uh, space std so that I can demonstrate all this. Doing this basic string char, uh, you know, string one, or saying string string one is the same thing. So, but because most of the time, at this stage anyway, we're going to be using this version of the basic string, the string of normal characters. Uh, the proposition is that we kind of forget about this and simply do this. Just say string and use the string as a type. All right. So this is what uh, this is what the basic setup is. But to let you know that this is a, not a real class, it's the so-called type definition that is that is included somewhere in this header file, uh, which essentially defines string as basic string. Type def sort of works this way. For example, I can say. Um, uh, type def uh, int inch and then say inch uh, height. Uh, this uh, st type def statement here says let's define inch as integer. And so inch height or int height produces exactly the same results, right? So uh, uh, int height or inch height, basically we're redefining something, uh, we're defining something as, you know, taking existing type and renaming it. That's what type dev does. Now this is completely useless and uh, is probably ill-advised. This is not a good uh, coding style. It doesn't help anything, right? Because programmers think better in terms of integers and not some, you know, other types. However, uh, as an exclusion to this, we've seen this already many times, right? Size, uh, size t is, uh, you know, size. Uh, uh, this data type is actually, if, if I uh, compile this code, if I just compile this code, make sure it compiles, right, uh, and reference, um, hide and reference, okay. So if I right click size t and show and say uh, go to definition of it, it opens this particular file and uh, gives me a chance to see it. And uh, 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 this size t is actually a type def of unsigned int. And because our machine is 32-bit, this is actually an empty string. So the result of this type def simply is unsigned integer. So integer that cannot be negative, only 0 or positive. So in some places, this is used. But typically in our code, uh, d d don't do something like this, okay? So this that's the nature of the type def. Uh, however, 
this type def is quite useful because we can uh, simplify some detailed uh, types uh, to something very simple. And that's also becomes very standard. So 